Is this thing working? Testing. Testing. Okay. Let's do this. Clutch Gumstone Audio Recording 1. They say history is written by the winners, but I've never seen a history book written by Zebra. The fact is, history is written by the ponies, who take the time to actually write and record it down. Pretty much everything that we know about the war that happened a hundred years ago comes from memory orbs, data recorders, and audio logs like this. Yet no pony is recording current history. There's a scarcity of audio recorders, very few unicorns know how to make memory orbs, and even most of the population is illiterate. That's why I'm making these audio logs, to record the history that changes Equestria as it's happening. But I don't intend to just wander around and hope that I bump into history occurring. Now, I have a plan to make sure that history does happen. And not just any history. My plan calls for nothing less than the full return of pony civilization to this barren wasteland. This plan is basic in its concept, but intricate in its execution. The plan is to find some pony who would lead and inspire others towards rebuilding equestrian society. Normally it would be impossible to find such a pony, but I've stumbled across top secret stable tech documents that explain that the stables are actually a sociological experiment in order to breed ponies ideally suited for rebuilding the world after such a disaster of a hundred years ago. Now it's just a matter of finding one of these ideal ponies and following her as she rebuilds Equestria. The plan basically has three stages, and the first two have already been completed. The first step in finding a stable pony is, of course, finding a stable. Unfortunately, none of the documents I could get a hold of listed where any of the stables were, so I had to go through some roundabout ways to find their locations. I've learned that each stable has their own built-in radio station, so I figured that some pony would be able to listen in onto these stations if they got close enough. So I managed to gather up a couple dozen of those Ministry of Morale sprite bots, and I reprogrammed them to crisscross across Equestria. That was a tongue twister. Searching for radio signals. And any time they pick up a signal, they would send a message back to me of its location. Once I had the location of these stables, it was time to put my second stage of the plan in motion. As luck would have it, Around the same time, one of the merchants here at Ten Pony Tower, who was also a spy for the Twilight Society, came down with a nasty case of ghoulification. And since, for complicated political reasons, ghouls can't be a part of the Twilight Society, that left an opening for a spy-slash-merchant. So I jumped at this opportunity to freely travel to and from Ten Pony Tower under the guise of Twilight Society business. And once I was out in the wasteland, I would travel to where the sprite spots have marked a stable and set up motion detectors around the entrance to notify me any time any pony leaves the stable. Now all that's left is the third stage of my plan, where I receive a signal that some pony has left a stable. At which point, the griffin that I have on retainer will fly me out to her, and then I could start recording her making history from a hopefully safe distance. So, if you're listening to this right now, it means that I've succeeded and this is part of a future history lesson, or I've failed and you've pulled this off my dead body. Either way, it'd be an improvement to my thankless position in the Twilight Society, repairing radios and fixing toasters. No pony's ever going to become famous for being a toaster repair pony.